Hello, this is Joanna, and in this video I'll look at the basics of shortages, including how to recognize them and how they're resolved. You may remember the trouble finding toilet paper in the initial stages of the COVID-19 pandemic, as panic-driven consumers were hoarding toilet paper and stores could not restock shelves fast enough. A shortage of toilet paper meant there was not enough to go around. The same idea is going to apply here. Behind the shortage is an imbalance between quantity supplied and quantity demanded. A shortage exists when quantity demanded exceeds quantity supplied. This is why we also call it excess demand. Let's use the supply and demand diagram to analyze the toilet paper shortage. On the y-axis, we have the price per pack, and on the x-axis, we have the number of rolls per day. A shortage means the market is not in equilibrium, which here occurs at E star. Equilibrium price is $40, and equilibrium quantity is 60 packs per day. For a shortage to exist, price must be making consumers want to buy more than sellers are willing to sell. We will have an excess of quantity demanded over quantity supplied for price levels below equilibrium price, right here at the bottom portion of our graph. Anywhere in this area, quantity supplied is always less than quantity demanded. Suppose a pack of toilet paper is priced at $20. Looking at the supply curve, we see that at price $20, sellers want to supply 20 packets. Looking at the demand curve, at price $20, consumers want to buy 100 packs. Notice how, at price $20, quantity demanded exceeds quantity supplied by 80 packs. The difference between quantity demanded, 100, and quantity supplied, 20, means the toilet paper market is incurring a shortage of 80 packs. This problem is caused by a price that is failing to clear the market, and that means that it's failing to set quantity demanded equal to quantity supplied. Compared to equilibrium price, $40, this $20 price is too low. The problem would be resolved by a higher price. The higher price will stimulate producers to supply a greater quantity and increase quantity supplied. And it will incentivize consumers to buy a smaller quantity and decrease quantity demanded. These two movements along the supply and demand curves will bring our market back to equilibrium. Now you try it. What shortage will occur at a price of $30? Thanks for watching.